In this video, we will show how to implement an adaptive cruise controller that combines sensor fusion and model predictive control in Simulink. Let's see how this is done in Simulink. Here we see the model of the entire control system. The right subsystem shows the plant and its surrounding environment. It consists of the vehicle dynamics, the driver's steering model, and a driving scenario that defines roads and surrounding vehicles. The subsystem also provides simulations of vision and radar sensors. The left subsystem contains the algorithm for ACC with sensor fusion, which models the sensor fusion and controls the longitudinal acceleration of the vehicle. Now we start the simulation by clicking the play button. This plot shows the behavior of the ego car and surrounding cars on the road. The vehicle marked with yellow is currently recognized as a lead car. In this plot, we see the coverage areas of the vision and radar sensors, detections and tracks. The road and the motion of other cars are specified in a scenario before the simulation. The ego car is controlled by the MPC controller to maintain a constant longitudinal speed while keeping a safe distance from the lead car. On the other hand, the steering is controlled by the driver model to go around the curve. Now we'll take a look at the simulation results using Simulation Data Inspector. Starting from top, this plot shows vehicle speed, relative distance between the ego car and the lead car, and the acceleration calculated by MPC. At around 11 seconds, another car cuts into the lane of the ego car and the distance between the cars suddenly becomes smaller, so ACC decelerates the ego car to keep a safe distance from the lead car. At around 20 seconds, the lead car changes to another lane. Since the distance between the cars becomes large, the ego car accelerates until it reaches the driver's set speed. MPC can deal with constraints such as speed limit, safe distance, and acceleration limit. In this example, the acceleration is calculated to meet such constraints. Let's go back to the model. This subsystem consists of the sensor fusion and the MPC controller. By using Automated Driving System Toolbox, the sensor fusion algorithm detects the lead car, which is closest to the ego car, and ahead of it in the same lane. It then computes the relative position and velocity of the lead car from the ego car by fusing the data from the vision sensor and radar sensor. The MPC controller uses Adaptive Cruise Control system block that is available in Model Predictive Control Toolbox. We can specify prediction model and control parameters like prediction horizon, weights of the cost function, and upper and lower limits of acceleration. The Vehicle and Environment subsystem consists of a 3 dot vehicle dynamics model, a driver's steering model that controls the steering angle to keep the car in the middle of the lane, and a subsystem that models the sensors and interactions with road and surrounding vehicles. We can create scenarios that define roads, surrounding vehicles, and motion of the surrounding vehicles. This scenario is created in MATLAB using the Driving Scenario class that is available in Automated Driving System Toolbox. You can visualize a driving scenario like this one and explore how the road profile changes or how the vehicle's behavior looks like. 
Finally, you can automatically generate C code from the developed algorithm model. For example, we can generate C code from the MPC controller and deploy it for software in the loop testing and hardware implementation. In this video, we discussed a model predictive control application and showed how to implement an adaptive cruise controller with sensor fusion. With Simulink, you can develop algorithms such as MPC and sensor fusion, test a control system in closed loop, and generate C code from the algorithms on a single development platform. This demo is available in both Model Predictive Control Toolbox and Automated Driving System Toolbox. Please check it out for more information.